or response for President Biden's first ever State of the Union address. Bipartisan applause erupting through the House chamber multiple times on Tuesday night, all in support of Ukraine. President Biden bringing members of both parties to their feet, praising the unified global response to Russia's aggression. Our Joe Khalil is live on Capitol Hill with more reaction from lawmakers. Joe. Yeah, good morning, Adrian. And I think that was the most remarkable and striking part was just how many bipartisan applause lines President Biden got last night. On all of the Ukraine material, you saw the entire room standing up. On the domestic side, it was pretty clear President Biden tried to do a bit of a reset on things like inflation, on things like COVID. And I think that's what we got from the president last night. Republicans and Democrats alike were hoping President Biden would lead off his State of the Union with a strong statement of unity with Ukraine. And President Zelensky, to every Ukrainian, their fearlessness, their courage, their determination literally inspires the world. On that front, the president delivered. Lawmakers satisfied with the president's tone toward Russian aggression. It's a threat to democracy and freedom everywhere. And so it's a very clarifying moment for all of us about what are our ideals. Do more sanctions. Be really strong with it. And uh, make sure that uh, we are not going to uh, depend on Russia to get our oil. Republicans wanted President Biden to announce sanctions on Russia's oil and gas, a step he didn't take. And at one point, the president addressed veterans who've died of cancer. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert broke the norms of respect and shouted. 13. Referencing Marines killed in Afghanistan. The president did tackle inflation, straightforward, telling the country to brace for gas prices to go up. I'll be honest with you, as I always promised I would be. A Russian dictator of fa invading a foreign country has cost around the world. President Biden announced a plan with 30 other nations to release more oil reserves to keep gas costs lower. In the Republican response address, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds accused the administration of being out of touch on the issue. The Biden administration believes inflation is a, quote, high class problem. I can tell you, it's an everybody problem. For more than two years, COVID has impacted every decision in our lives. And on COVID, a reset, announcing a new initiative to provide free antivirals to all Americans who test positive. President Biden urged the nation to stop regarding the pandemic as a divisive political issue and rather as a common tragedy to rally against together. Let's stop sending each, seeing each other as enemies and start seeing each other for who we are, fellow Americans. Look. And Adrian, we did see some uh, bipartisan support after the speech as well, uh, when President Biden talked about things like funding the police rather than defunding. That got Republican support. I'm going to spend a second on that moment where Congresswoman Boebert uh, interrupted. Uh, that typically doesn't happen. Uh, you could see a few years ago that would be incredibly unusual. And I think there are a lot of people today on Capitol Hill waiting to see if Republican leadership condemns that at all. We haven't seen that so far, but maybe we do later on. In the day today, Adrian. Well, absolutely, it was not uh, polite uh, to interrupt the president's speech at that moment. But then you have a lot of people, uh, Republicans, quite pointedly, who would be saying that there had to be somebody saying how aghast they are at the loss of American lives in Afghanistan. Uh, Joey, uh, Joe, no, it wasn't Joey. I'm calling you Joe. Joe, uh, there was a very <laughs> cute moment with this young guest. His name is Joshua. I'm getting my J's mixed up. This little boy. <laughs> yeah, there was. And if you want to call me Joey, that's fine. My okay. parents still call me Joey, so I I'll go with the Y. That, we're, we're on that basis. Um, no, Joshua, the seventh grader, it was, it, was a, it was a really cute moment. You know, a lot of times presidents will invite uh, people to put human faces on issues. And this young seventh grader from Virginia is diabetic. His father's diabetic. He had been advocating to lower the cost of insulin and drug prices. Uh, and so President Biden highlighted him a day after his birthday. And the camera went to him, this beaming, beaming smile from this young kid. Uh, very cute. Obviously, it started to circulate on social media. It was a cute moment. I imagine that Joshua is probably the most popular kid uh, at, his, <laughs> at his school today, junior high. Uh, you know, cool shout out for a, a good cause there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.